Nolly Home TV. Finally, it's been 33 years. I was barely a year when my mother took me to London. 33 years. Your mother told me you were dead when I asked after you. I was devastated then. Our family wasn't friendly. There was nothing a poor teacher like me could do. But look at you. Look at you, flesh and blood in my house. I had wanted to, to bring you up. I had wanted to raise you. But your wicked mother wouldn't let me. <laughs> Father, I am so happy to see you. What are you doing here? Huh? Wicked lady without a soul! Father, what are you doing with this devil in makeup? Huh? What are you doing with this devil in black? Don't come off your step. This is your lost sister I told you about. The product of my uh, failed marriage. No, father. No. Demons don't come from your loins. No fallen angel without wings will fall on this compound, my father's compound, and claim lost and found child after the three years. Get lost, or I'll cut you into pieces. Uh, 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 you are get lost. Come back here. Take hold of yourself. Calm down! This is for our good! What is your sister that was lost and is found? Who should be happy for her? Why? Why are you this way? We are in his dream. It was ugly. Oh yes! It was ugly! Very ugly, father! That lady beside you is a demon. Take it from me! No! Let her leave! No! She's a demon! Hey, father. Fiona. It's good to see you. 
Did my boy come to pick you up from the airport? Not at all. It was a friend's younger brother. Because okay. I've been trying to reach him. Oh, Father, it's good to be finally home. I am so shocked. Everyone <laughs> has changed. You're welcome. How was your flight? Oh, it was smooth. Good. It's <sighs> good to be home. Um, my boy will take care of the rest of the stuff in the office. Okay. So let's let's go. Okay. Where okay. are your boxes? Downstairs with the secretary. Okay, let's go then. Uh, I missed this place. Well, at least you are doing good. You are doing so good. Thank Just you, thank you. Your Highness, I got to the office and realized you just left. My daughter came in and we left almost immediately. Oh, really? So I. Father. Oh, really? Princess Fiona. And you must be new. You're welcome. You were supposed to come pick me up from the airport. What happened? Ah, I, I ran into traffic, actually. Mm. Um, it was heavy. Okay. Uh, one truck broke down in the middle of the road. And it cost a huge one. You're welcome. You're welcome. How was your trip? Amazing. You know, these days, I don't do this with anyone. I do more of visuals. He's the one that sits for me at the meetings. And he has been exceptional. Quite interesting. All those government deals, he sealed it all by himself. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, Princess Fiona. Hmm. Um, Your Highness, I was able to have a meeting with the MD of Fort Oil. Good. And I must tell you, we have a deal. Yes. Okay. And Dangote Refinery is up for grabs, finally. And um, we can buy into it and supply 40% of the crude oil they need. Hmm. They are expecting your call and your mail. Awesome. You see, I was a little worried. Yes. So I had to go to the office. I read his text message. We are good to go. Yes. <laughs> Here it is, sir. $30 million. $30 million. Dollars. Interesting. Yes. Um, I know you must be famished now. Why don't you go to the kitchen and help yourself out with uh, something to eat? Well, Your Highness, thank you very much. But I guess you forgot that I'm supposed to take my father to the hospital for his final injection. Then go straight to him. You should have done that before coming here. Don't forget to tell him I owe him a visit. <laughs> That's true. He will hear your highness. Okay. But you've actually been making this promise for over two years. But, but I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I'll take this to your room. Don't worry, I will handle that. Mm. Better. All right then. I'll take my leave, sir. Okay. Princess Fiona. Um, see you around. Good to see you. Welcome home. Thank you. Father, I do not understand this. What is there for you not to understand? Do you just allow any help person to walk into your kitchen and get food? And also your room? That is absurd. Because I trust him. He's like my son. Besides, Neo is not just anybody. He is the one that takes care of my business and all my personal stuff. Hmm. Okay. Business, no problem. But personal stuff, I am here for you. I get it. You should be mindful of your privacy, Dart. Mm. Your absence will be felt heavily, Your Highness. <laughs> Everything you need has been arranged. Neo has it all lined up. <sighs> yes. Empowerment program for all the widows. 17 million will cover them. The scholarship assessment exams will come next month. 
Oba has increased the number of children from 300 to 700. And by next year, his target would be 1,000. 14 truckloads of fertilizers to be shared amongst the farmers in two weeks' time. You will be having a press conference with other high chiefs and four new pickup trucks for the vigilante groups. <laughs> Your Highness, you bought trucks already. In our last meeting, we agreed that we leave this area for me to handle. Chief, it is not a problem. If you add it all up, it will come up to six trucks. I just don't want to cram in my village. Son, I hope you included the ones of pensioners and aged parents. Certainly, Your Highness. Um, the church helped and it made it easier. Now we have 275 elders in your payroll. The community bank will take care of the disbursement. Since the federal government is owing them pensions, let's support them by paying each one 10,000 naira every month. Wow. Yes. Um, Chief, I want you to make sure that everything goes well. My daughter Fiona is around and she takes care of business with the support of Neo. So if there's anything you need, you can have. Contact her or Neo. Your Highness, I'm overwhelmed the way you handle these things. Look at the way you arrange all this. You see why we called you Oibo? That's why we call you Oibo. You arranged everything prim and proper. Neil, do not hesitate to make the copies for me so that I can go and share it to the Council of Elders. It is done already. They are in my car. So before you leave, I will hand them over to you. Wonderful. Chief, since I started working with him, he does virtually everything for me. He's intelligent and well organized. He's already my right-hand man. You see, everything he read to you was his brain. He maps it out and designs a strategy for you to execute them. <laughs> I just wish he is my biological son. Hi! <laughs> Your Highness, everything I know, everything I'm doing, you taught me. I was a nobody. And you picked me up from the streets and gave me life. Your Highness, I owe you mine. Thank you. Father. This <laughs> Table is set. Thank you. Um, Chief, let's go and eat before you leave. My daughter cooked for us. This food must be London made. <laughs> the food must be from London. Uh, Your Highness. I wish to quickly rush to a pharmacy down the road and get a very important medication for you. You will need it after the food. But don't be in a hurry. We have all the time. Let's go and eat. You have not tasted anything since morning. Your Highness, I'm not really hungry. Yeah. Chief, this is one of the problems I'm having with him. Your Highness, I'll just go to set the table. So shall we? Yes.
Oh, yeah, put your girls up. birthday yet. <laughs> no, you are just way too perfect. You're an angel. Thank you, Shelly. Where is that? That is his room. Where is Marcel? Yes. Oh, I'll come with him. Who is taking your bag? I'll come with him. I will. I will. Don't Thank worry. You. I'll take it to you. All right. Wow. Wow. They're so full of life. <laughs> Just check out what they got for me. Are you not going to take the bags inside? I was you going to... You do that now. Sure. Excuse you? Why do you treat me this way? to learn to handle Lagos drivers. <laughs> and they are crazy. The traffic in Lagos here is mad. Everyone is in a hurry to nowhere. Mm -hmm. So you plan your movement and leave on time. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Ma Absolutely. <laughs> Lagos is definitely crazy. It's like, huh. You know, Lagos is full already. And the closure of Third Mendham Bridge Makes everything crazy. My mm. guess. Right. Do you know Neil has to pack the car sometimes and call me to wait for him in the office? Wow. Really? He'll pick a cab, not even a cab, a bike. Oh, from are you Lake serious? Huh. To Ikeja just to be the truck. Wow. So mm. Lagos is definitely crazy. That's what I'm telling you, on time, so she knows. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Neil? Back to your office. He said he had a couple of emails to attend to, and I asked him to wait at the office in case we have other clients coming in. So, yeah, he's at the office. I hope he has had something to eat. He left here very early to pick them up. Father. The doctor complained that we must insist that he eats. He's working too hard, Father, but he's yes. not eating. No. Father, he's an adult. He can handle himself. Yeah. Hello, son. Where are you? The lawyer is on his way to the house. And I want you to get here before him. Okay? Good. I hope you girls are enjoying the meal. Oh, mm. super good. He's on his way to the airport to confirm my ticket. Neil. Okay. To the airport? Yes. But how will you cope without him in London? <laughs> mm. I am going for my medical checkup, mm. Mm. and I'll take some time to rest. Being away from Lagos traffic is enough peace of mind. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, I'm going to be staying in a hotel okay. where you have absolute peace and tranquility. <laughs> okay. So, is someone not going to rate my cooking? Super good. Okay, let me rate you. Rate me. Uh, wonderful. A one. What? 
are you going to the office? Well, father asked me to lock the office. He forgot to lock it himself. He is going to. Let me have the keys. Let me have. I'm sorry, you can't. Let. How dare you lock my father's office? Are you mad? You slapped me? Why you Did you just slap me? Fiona, did you slap me? I asked this fool not to lock father's office and he went and had to lock the office. Like, is he your dad? Oh. Is he your father? Fiona, calm down, please. I should have called dad rather than slapping him. I mean, I, I have my stuff inside there. Oh. We're going to the airport. And father asked me to lock the office. He even said that nobody should open his wardrobe. That's what I just did. She came shouting. Next thing, she slapped me. I mean, why would I even lock the office if father didn't give that instruction? It's an instruction. Yeah. Mm. Let me have the keys. And your stuff are on the table. Should have, you should have called father rather than slapping him. I mean, it was just acting on instructions. Mm. Yes. So I should take permission to enter my father's office. That's not what I'm saying. Then what's going on? You tell me you're something else, Fiona. That phone is off, of, of course, we're all nobody. Mm. You shouldn't have slapped him. Mm. So you have to go and all have our offices. I should apologize. Yes. Of course. Why? For slapping him. You know what? You should just shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. I am the boss here. He should be one to apologize to me. But that is not what I'm saying. Nonsense. Something is wrong. Abu Samu, Abu Samu, happy. It's looking good. Wow. Yeah. I'll let my father get this. Sure. Father, I can show you. You did this. Wow. Hundred percent. Looks good. I just have to go through it one more time. Okay. Say this is good, okay? Yeah. I'll make sure my father gets to see this. <coughs> you did this yourself? Yes. Whatever you're planning to do in this country will not work. Stay away from this complex. And what gave you the right to speak to my guest that way? Because he's a scammer. He will scam you. Will you shut up? You are just an enemy of progress. I've tried severally to have a meeting with your father. But this young man will keep on blocking me. Really? I don't know what is the problem. You are seeing the proposal, they're all good. So I want to know what is the problem, young man. You will not succeed here. You will see. <laughs> Get out! People like you won't make heaven. You have seen the proposals, they're all good. Um, Mr. Mike, I'm sorry for that interruption, okay? okay? Like I said earlier on, I will get this to my father. I'll make sure he says this. Thank you. Well, in that case, let me buy you a lunch. You want to buy me lunch? Oh, today is Friday. Let's hang up tonight. You're welcome. Right. I will be on my leave now. Right. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Alright. And what gave that idiot the right to walk into this place? It's it. But the proposal isn't that bad. Exactly. That's okay. We've gone through it. Yes. But the guy is not the owner of the company. He simply wants to use our father's platform to do people. It is deeper than that. The moment they lay their hands on father's email or any of our passwords, a lot of damage will be done. Wow. I just hope Fiona will listen to what you're saying. Listen, we have to be very careful. These guys are not smiling. The moment they lay their hands on our father's email 
they will do a lot of damages. These guys are hackers. First off, my father, not yours. Hmm. Just because father showers you with so much praises, you think you're a genius, right? Well, I graduated with a first class in Oxford. Hmm, mm. I am better than you. Yeah, come down. You see this contract? It will get through. I will see it through. Do you understand me? If you cannot accept that, you get lost. Uh. And for my father's jeep, you will drop it and start jumping public transport. Hey, Rubbish. What are you saying? Hey, what is wrong with you? Oh, please. What is, what, what is wrong with you? Oh, Fiona, you've started again. The only reason you're keeping quiet is because of that. It will soon be over. What will be over? Wait, wait, wait. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. What's the problem? What is it? The Atlantic contract has been revoked. What? Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. Oh no. What? done with this job. So father's coming. Working here is very stupid. You don't oh, say that. Please, please, please stop. Please, you, oh, please. What is all this funeral? What is all what this? Allow me to think. Wait. Let me think. What are you, what are you thinking? thinking? You've written me husband. Tell me what, what are you thinking? I want to be free. Free from the shame. I want to be free. Pop Arab nonsense. I keep receiving silly mails from God knows who. Where is Fiona? Please calm down. Please. The EFCC boss is on his way to see you. You need to think clearly at this moment. I said, where is Fiona? Father, she's upstairs. Fiona! Fiona! Father, I'm sorry. You mad? Sorry. Just little power and you messed up my business. Barista, my Eco Atlantic company just lost 500 million naira contract. What? All because of her carelessness and laxity. Oh, now, Neo has resigned. I don't know where to start from. Your Highness, please calm down. Please. You don't need all this time. Just come back. I will handle this. Please. I will. Just give me a few minutes. I will fix it. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was going to resign, but I did. 500. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. None of you know where our new stays? No, no, sir. I'm so sorry. Go and get my car key now. I need to go to the office. We need to block something. They are trying to hack my account. Yeah. Please, please, make it fast, please. You can't just revoke my license like that. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President. Ah! Your Highness, what's going on? Uh, Your Highness! Your uh, Highness! Your uh, Highness! Uh, are you okay? Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness, somebody help me! Your Highness! Your Highness! Please! <sighs> Young man, if you can listen to me, you will go far in life. What did you say, sir? I just, I just have a look. Oh my God! When, when did he come back? No, no, no. 
This can't be true. This is not true. Just pick your phone and call any of his keys. Oba is in coma. What exactly did he come back for him to be in a coma? This doesn't make sense. Where's my phone? We are still phone? keeping your phone off. Huh? They will be looking for you, trying to get you, reach come you on, on the phone. On. Come on. Hmm. What exactly did he come back for him to be in coma? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But you must not be stressed. Okay. No problem. Yes. Where is that basin in my office? Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. What is going on? Where is that? It's a long story. Dad just came out of coma. Yes. Good. He buys with the doctor. Right now? Yes. Good. Okay? <laughs> right. Right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just relax. Okay? I'm okay. here now. Hmm? Barrister, as he stands now, his blood group is very well in our hospital. We don't have it here. And if nothing is done about it, we might lose him. No, no, please, doctor. Where can we get this blood? Money is not a problem, please. You have to help us. We can't afford to lose him. Please, doctor. It's okay, Barrister. Um, I'll try and make some calls. Okay. And, uh, I pray we'll go for the best. Please, please, just do whatever you can. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Barrister. All right, let me, let me see up to the door. Okay? Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Did my boy come to pick you up from the airport? Not at all. It was a friend's younger brother that came. Because I've been trying to reach him. Oh, Father, it's good to be finally home. I am so shocked. Everywhere has changed. <laughs> You're welcome. How was your flight? Oh, it was smooth. Good. <sighs> I'm good to be. It's good to be home. Um, my boy will take care of the rest of the stuff in the office. Okay. So let's let's go. Home. Okay. Where okay. are your boxes? Downstairs with the secretary. Okay, let's go then. <laughs> Yes, 
trust your sense of judgment. But please don't be mean. Mean? Father, I am not mean. I am only principled. Five hundred million naira deal. Gone. His license taken. Where is she now? I don't know where, where is Fiona? I don't know where she is. Maybe she's in that office trying to rectify things. Rectify what? I don't know. We need to stop her. Wait, wait, wait. What? There is a serious problem right now. What is that? That needs blood. Hey, his blood group is where? That's the problem now. That is the problem that we have now. What she's saying is not focus, focus. Right. It's reality. The doctor has made calls to several blood bands. And he cannot find his blood mark anywhere. Nowhere. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, everybody, calm down. Calm down. Oh. What's his blood group? A, B. A, B. That's what it is. A, B. Yes. A, B. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. A, B. Yes. I'm a match. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Wait here, wait here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Please, uh, get me Mr. Amade's file, okay? Doctor. 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 I'm here now. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to badge in like this. Okay. But... Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. You can take my blood. Are you AB? Yes. I'm the same blood group with really? Oba. You sure? I'm very sure. Please. Okay. Okay. I have enough blood. Are you sure of this? Yes, of course. Okay, very good. Let's go to the screen, okay? Let's all right. Screen, okay? All right. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Father, please don't do this to us. <laughs> I'm going to survive without you here. Father, please don't do this. <laughs> Father, please. <laughs> Can I please don't do this? Can I don't do this? Don't do this, sir. Oh, what I need. We can't survive this without you. Please don't do this. <laughs> Your Highness, Your Highness, please. Your Highness, please don't do this to us. We, we can't cope without you. Please, you have to get strong. You cannot be in this condition. I beg you, Your Highness, you, you have to get strong, please. Please, for the sake of your family. Please, please. Oh God. Oh God. Your Highness, if, if you can hear me, to just know that I'm, I'm standing beside you and everything will be fine. No matter what happened, I, I, I'll fix it. I'll, I'll work hard, I'll do anything I can to fix it. But you have to regain consciousness. You have to come back to life. We need you, please. Please, Your Highness, please. Please, just, just, just say something. Oh God, God. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm very sorry. I left. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I, the, I, you, you should understand how I felt. But, 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 but I'm back. I'm back, Your Highness. I, I'm back to, 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 to assume all those responsibilities that I left behind. You don't have to worry about anything. You just have to wake up and, and be strong and be in good health. And, and, and I'll do everything you want me to do to handle your business. Please, please, if anything happens to you, I cannot be it. I, I cannot survive it. Please, Your Highness. My father, please. Your Highness, Your Majesty. Oh God. Yo, wait. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ah. Ah. Sit down. Sit down. Ah. When I received message mm. that uh, you be coming, mm. I was surprised. But at the same time, happy <laughs> to see you. Hi. You have not changed. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> Life is a gift. Mm. We appreciate it. Compared to time and miracle, we thank God. Oh. It is a plus to be alive. I thank God for everything. Huh? I thank God for everything. Mm. Yeah, uh, and you see you, you you look strong, <laughs> eh? and ever beautiful. <laughs> He's gone all the way. Uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, it's all right. How are you holding on? <laughs> As you can see, I am strong. I'm vibrant. <laughs> I thank God for that. Oh. <laughs> hey. uh, uh. Ah. You know that by now he must be a man. Yes, sure he is, and he is doing good, oh, oh. very good. <laughs> uh, uh, don't worry. Eh? Let me get you your own soft drink to oh. cool down. <laughs> no, 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 no. Eh? As you can see, I'm okay. Eh? I'm okay. I'm fine. Eh? It's sugar, you know. Uh, oh, you see, you fear sugar. <laughs> Oh. 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 Uh. <laughs> Have you told him yet? <sighs> mm. I don't want to trouble his young soul. Occasion we call for that. But not yet. Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel. The earlier you tell him, the earlier he appreciates the sacrifices we made for him. <sighs> How I wish I met him. <sighs> and where do you start to tell him? Where do you start? From the very beginning, of course. Mm. So that he will not live to blame us. Paraventure something goes wrong.
your highness today is a happy day for all of us because victory is ours God is faithful. Mm. My dear, please don't allow him to go through any stress. Please take his phone. Neil, you know what to do. And make sure he takes his medication. Sure. Thank I'll be on my way. I will come back tomorrow morning to see how he's doing. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. Thank you, Barista. Thank you. Thank you. Your Highness, I want to quickly get to the office and fix some things before it's too late. Wait, please. Why did you poison yourself, Fiona? Why did you do that? Oh, please. Please just take it easy on her and yourself. So we can talk about this letter when you're stronger, Father. Leave me. I'm strong. Fiona, why did you do that? I saw it. I saw the will you wrote. Who am I? Who is my father? Father, what is going on? I feel what is wrong with you? Why would you even say a thing like that? What are you saying? Father, who is my father? Fiona, I am not your biological father. I met your mother. You turned on me when you were two years old. And we both got married. But she lied to me. She told me that your father died after giving birth to you. <sighs> and that the reason she's coming to London is that you, her husband's people want to kill her. So she came to London with you. Uh, but after some time, the letter came to me in London, informing me that your father wasn't dead. I just hope he's not now. She's upstairs in her room. She has refused to open the door or talk to anyone. No, so please go and call her. Madam, 
my own is that I don't want anything terrible to happen to her. Please. Father, well, let's eat then. Maybe. No. We eat together as family. No matter what, we are still family. So someone should go and call her. <sighs> Daddy's at the dining already waiting for you. Big sis, please open the door. That, that, that you see, on your door with this food and she's still not out. See, she doesn't sound as family anymore, then let it be so. Jill, will you stop that? She is still your sister. And your elder sister at that. No matter what, anytime you want to talk about her, you must exhibit some sense of decorum. But well, then she should have obeyed you now, eh? Looking at herself in that room after everything, it's not good. A very good afternoon, Your Highness. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I bring you good news. Finally, the Minister of Interior has signed. Oh, wow. wow. We're back on the project. Well, <laughs> that's, that's good news. Good news. Thank you. Come and see that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, wonderful wow. news. Yeah, Thank you welcome. so much, Yes. Wow. Um, I'm happy. Thank you, Your Highness. What can I say? Thank you. Why don't wow. you join us? Ah, wow. You can see some delicacies. Yeah, let me say I am famished. Oh, Your Highness, it was a win win for oh, us. Chicken. Please, thank you so much. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, you owe you a lot. Thank daughter is acting like a total stranger to a father that has been there for her since her infant days. Tell me, what do you stand to achieve with all this? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm still in shock. I have been living in illusion. There is no illusion, my daughter. Your late mother and I kept this as a secret. It is on my will. But you know I will never leave you empty. That was why I asked Neo to lock up the office. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please, can I go back to London? I'm just I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight. I just need some time out. These are some of the letters I found in your mother's box after her demise. I kept them for you. They were made available by your father. 
My father? Yes. Again, he can't I'm not the girl that made me this way. Again, he can't marry. Your love, your grace is all I need. A mommy fan, I've been through shit. Oh, love vindicates me. Mm. Again, he can't marry. Oh. 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 Come here. Oh. Ah. You are the one that called you. No, 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 no. I didn't. Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. We are innocent. We are Out. innocent. <laughs> I don't want to repeat myself. Out. I don't even know who he is. How much were they pay? How much can you How much? You said to now. They go. You are criminal. You will rot in jail today. Officer, make I tell you Let now. Let me tell you like a man like me and you. you. Me and you know they do that guy man son. They go. Mugu. Cri -crim criminal. How much? How much? How much? I go, I go, I go shoot you. How much? I go shoot you. Move. Stupid man. I say, move. I, I go shoot you this gun. You. <laughs> You're welcome. When he said that you are going to visit after I return from the clinic, I reserved this special wine for you. <laughs> that is the much a retired teacher can offer. <laughs> you don't need to worry yourself. I actually came to fulfill my promise to the gods concerning your son. Uh, Neo is also my son. All right. His honesty, dedication, and royalty has earned him this. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Not only that. In our community project, his ideas and strategy has made so much impact. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, your highness, I was going to tell you that he deserves a chief tennis tattoo in our next festival. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not surprised. That has been his lifestyle. <laughs> During my active days at Ebweman Community School in Ochanja, I didn't know how he convinced the priest to contribute money for one of the sick teachers. Uh, 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 that time was um, Mrs. Afolabi. Uh, Mrs. Afolabi. Eh? He, he was dead in his uh, primary season. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, so, they always go to the teacher's house to pray for her. That has been his way. <laughs> oh, Chanja. Oh, Chanja. You know, I lived there during my youth copper days. Mm. How can I forget? 
I was attached at NEPA as a copper. Uh, they even retained me after my youth service, uh, but I couldn't stay. I left. I also dated an Igbo woman named the former, who was from the community. Uh, we had little misunderstanding because she didn't want me to travel to London. It was after my trip to London that I received a message from her that she's pregnant with my baby. I continued sending her money regularly. But two months after her delivery, everything became a mirage. I couldn't hear from her anymore. When you came back from London, did you check on this informant? No, I didn't. You see, I was away for 15 years. And on my return, my mother discouraged me. Being that I'm a prince from Yoruba land, it became mandatory that I had to marry from Yoruba. Informa, at that point, was an Igbo woman. Yes. Hold on. <laughs> Life is a journey. Time is not really on our side. But I promise the gods that I'll give you a house at Jerry. What? But I'll present it to your father. Your Highness. <laughs> your Highness, thank you. Thank yeah. you, Your Highness. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Please mm. present thank the Your Highness. Honor. Thank you, Your Highness. These are the documents to the house I gave to your son. Thank but you. I want to present it to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Hi. Highness. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, could this be the informer? That was 35 years ago. Yes, that's it for mom. Uh, no. Uh, go to Mrs. Atolabi and bring her. Our daughter is living down the junction. Go with my phone. Call her along the way. She'll direct you well. Okay, Father. Yes. Excuse me, Your Highness. <sighs> This is my letter to her. And these are my pictures I sent to her. What happened? <sighs> After giving back to her baby, we were all excited. She went back to school. Mrs. Safolabi was her helping hand. You didn't hear from her because she died in an auto clash and was born to them. <sighs> All effort we made to contact her people in Abia State through their body because um, stepmother was not cooperating. She wasn't friendly. So that was it. Your Majesty, are you sure of what you are saying? Do not conclude yet. At least let's conduct a DNA test first. I am sure she's from Uturu in Okiwe. I met her after the demise of her mother. Her father died after her mother gave birth to her. She was exclusively raised by her mother. I, I know my handwriting. Huh? This, this were the pictures she sent me. The letter she wrote me, including the pictures of the baby.
Mr. Deborah, oh, that be your see. Your son never mentioned to me that you had guests in your place. Gabi uh, Ah, uh, Mrs. Folagi, you're welcome. Uh, you can see that this is a great day. So, you still get these pictures? This is a former new smoke. Before she died. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask, where is the boy after his stepmother refused to cooperate with you? Gabe. What is happening here? I hope all is well. Ah, Mrs. Afolabi, all is well. About this is uh, Oba Femi Martins. Oh, uh, Mrs. Afolabi, it's a long story. But this is um, Oba Femi Martins. Oba. News boss. Uh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Your Majesty, I have good news for you. The guy that scammed Fiona has been arrested. Who is your mother? Your Majesty. I never met her. She died in an awful accident. According to my father, she was burnt to death. Your Majesty, what is going on? Father, what is all this about? I don't understand. Uh, the truth is, this is... Uh... The truth is that after your mother's death, he adopted you. He is not your biological father. Yes, to you. When you were five years old, he got married. And whenever you come around him, his wife wasn't comfortable. Anyways, the marriage didn't last. She went away with her child, a girl. Gabriel here took you in and raised you as his own son. We call you Neil, which means Neil, or young, or fresh. <clears throat> The truth is, over here is your biological father. He was dating your mother, not knowing that she was pregnant for him before he traveled to London. My God! Jesus! Jesus!
down. Huh? I've not seen you angry this man. Please calm down. Whatever happened, you need to forgive her. Please, calm down. You're welcome. You. Uh, my brother. Oh God. Blood is thicker than water. You can't run away from us. Please come back home. You are our blessing. Father is waiting, longing to see you. Please. <sighs> DNA test. Oh, oh. No. Father first. Okay. I will come home. Okay? Yes. This is indeed the Lord's doing. I am the father of this wonderful, super intelligent young man. Your Highness. <laughs> Welcome to my dynasty. Welcome to my empire. Thank you. Welcome to wealth. Thank you. Chief, today is a great day. You have to go and announce to my people that our prince has been confirmed, not only by this result. <laughs> Your Highness, after you went to the doctor for the DNA test, we took the test to different labs just to be sure. We are glad that you are through some of our highness. <laughs> Neil, welcome to reality. Thank you very much. Thank you. When this drama started at first, I couldn't fathom it. So I decided to go under. Your highness, You've been more than a father to me, even before now. Shelly and Angel, you're my siblings, and I'm happy. I'm happy. Fiona, he gave me life when I lost my mother. So how can I not forgive you? It's true. It gave me a deep cut. But the razor you used on me is broken. It is a broken razor. myself with something to eat. I don't need your permission. Well, he is my father, not yours. If you're so clamor for food, why don't you go out there and get food? Why are you doing this? Now listen up. You go upstairs. You move your dirty stuff out of the guest room and move to the boys quarters what? where you belong because you are just a mess of I'm not a servant, so okay? Are. I am not a servant. I am the opera's personal assistant. I know you want trouble with me, but I will not give it to you. Please, just let me be. If you do not give it to me, I will give it to you. Move your stuff! I hate you. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> 
about someone I've been calling. You know this feeling. <laughs> I am really sorry. Indeed, the razor is broken. It is broken. I'm sorry. It's okay. Please, I want to ask you for something. I would like to go spend some time with my father. I mean, I've not lived with him all my life. You gave a house to Neil and he packed my father's stuff in there. Since Neil is here, I'd love to go spend some time with him. Please. It's getting quite emotional here. <laughs> um, I have a wonderful request. It's all about my will that will be read when I'm gone. Well. Let's forget the protocol now. Uh, Fiona, Neil, Shirley, and Angel. Everything I own belongs to you, all of you. Neil and Fiona, will you do it for me? Will both of you do it for me? Thanks. What do you need from us? Neil, please marry Fiona. That's the reason I brought you very close, after realizing how honest and industrious you are. You took my case as your case. I never knew you were not my son but I gave you a room in my house. You practically know everything about me and my empire. I brought her home so that both of you will meet. I never knew it was her father. Who raised you to be this noble young man you are today? Sir. You gave me hope. I cannot disappoint you. Can you permit me to marry your only daughter? It is my father's wish. You know, the first time I met you, I knew right then, you're a strong woman. <laughs> and I imagined how we could complement each other. Mm. So, will you marry me? <laughs> Can I be your forever? <laughs> I thought you would never ask. Really? Yeah. I mean, I thought you were going to ask me out the first time. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I love you. Shut up. Both of you are Great God in heaven. Miracle-working God. I thank you for this great day. For these two people that are my children. And for this kingdom. Thank you for your greatness and goodness. Not only that my daughter my lost daughter 
have been found and reconciled to me. She's been given a marriage to my adopted son. It's only you, God, that can do this great thing. I pray, I release my blessings to you all. Amen. This marriage, we continue to be blessed. Amen. Amen. You will have children to Amen. the number you want. Amen. Amen. You're asking me how much? You're paying me, Abi? Eh? You're asking me! You have the mind to ask me how much they're paying me. Eh? I'll make sure you rot in jail. I'm going to show you this block. Criminal. Move. If, if you talk, I will shoot you. Criminal! Officer. Officer, hold on. Let me have a little rendezvous with him. Oh. Mr. Mike. <laughs> Mr. New. Mr. Mike. We meet again. Well, in an unfortunate circumstance this time. Huh? I warned you. But you thought you were smart. Actually, you were a smart, dumb guy. Look at where you are now, huh? Look at where you have landed yourself. Criminal. Huh? What are we looking at, officer? 14 years to life or in more. prison. Or more. Because there are stacked up evidence against you. Neil, when I get into this, oh, really? I will still ball out. And when I ball out, I will see enter street. <laughs> Just watch your back, bro. Bola. Enter street. You're actually in trouble now. And right in front of an officer of the law, you're threatening me. Criminal. <laughs> well, officer, you're my witness. Because I will see you in court. Your charges are piling up. Fool. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I will see you when I'm back. Keep quiet. Keep hey, quiet. Keep quiet. Then I jump with these. I go ball out. <laughs> this guy watches too much of American films. You have no idea you have gone forever. Fool. Officer, let's go. Restrain that idiot. I will make sure you rot in jail! Officer, I will die for your hand. Criminal! You are a criminal! Officer, can I ask you a question? I beg you. If, 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 if you give me a good way, any amount of talk, I will pay you. Just, I beg. I will make sure you die! Criminal! Officer, I will die. Die! My people, today is a special day in a way. Fiona, you're still looking beautiful just like your mother. Always wearing that smile. Um, Nia, well, I've been with you almost all your life. I know your potentials and your limitations. No, as a matter of fact, you have no limitations. <laughs> you are a young man that is naturally endowed. And I trust your judgment. Uh, I wish both of you well. I have already paid for your vacation in five different towns of the world. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. And you're going to go to places like Montego Bay. Uh -huh. You're going to go to... Miami. Okay. You're gonna go to uh, uh, what you call it? Um, what's the name of this island? Zanzibar. Zanzibar. Oh, yeah. Then, then you end up in Dubai. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your aunt will send you a, a postcard. A postcard yeah. from every destination. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like this, my papa, darling. Uh, take care of papa. Uh. Oh, cool. Oh. Your daddy loves you. Yeah, I love you oh, too. My lovely little man. Your Highness. Yes. Go and represent. Take good care of yourself. Yeah.
I will. I'll keep in touch. Yeah. Whatever be it, let me know. Okay. Anything official. I could always handle things from over there. No problem. You know what I can do. Of course. <laughs> thank you, Father. <laughs> my Father. Uh, thank you're you. still my Father. <laughs> you know what they're going to buy me. I know you're fine. I know you. God will keep you alive. Good things in your life. Yes. We can never forget you. You're a part of us forever. Oh, thank you. Look out for my father. Uh, Defend my father. Uh, At every time yeah. he needs you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for being part of this. Yeah. Oh, we'll miss you all. Oh, oh, we'll miss you oh, more. We'll miss, <laughs> we'll miss you more. Take good care of yourself. Mm. And uh, see you soon. See you soon. Yeah. See you soon. All right. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I'll take it. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go,